Hey y'all, this is Jessica back at it with another episode of the Texas Travel Series here in Galveston, Texas. I am so excited to explore these historic old ships, going to visit the Galveston Strand with all the beautiful shops, going to hopefully see dolphins and take a sunset tour, and exploring the history of Galveston, including the Red Light District. There's so much to do and I can't wait to take you along. You cannot visit Galveston without making a stop at Pleasure Pier. We spent our first night out at the pier on some of the rides. I really love the merry-go-round, and then we went to the beach besides the pier. It was pretty magical watching the sunset at the pier and seeing how it lights up at night. You can go back in time on the 1877 Elisa Tall Ship. This is one of the oldest ships that still sails today and has been all over the world, has multiple renovations, but still hold on to that historic nature. You can go on board, see so many different aspects about it, learn how it has been to sail across different timelines, and imagine what it's like to be on it yourself. All aboard! So the Lisa is a working ship and we have where the crew beds are. In April, people go out on this and they have a six hours cruise, but otherwise you can take a tour like we're doing now. So the cool thing about this ship is that you really get to go and see all the little details like seeing the officer's quarters, seeing where they cook, we're gonna go down and see some of the rooms that are still in use. I am so pumped to go on the harbor tours. Hopefully we see dolphins. I've heard of a lot of sightings, but also we're gonna go see the shipwreck Selma, which is out in the water made of concrete, a really great site that you have to check out when visiting Galveston. Banana Boat Splatini. This thing has everything in a cocktail that you would want for a summer dessert. Got some vanilla vodka, some chocolate syrup, some pineapple and banana. Plus we have this beautiful view. We're starting our morning off here at Red Light Coffee Roasters before heading out to Moody Gardens. I am so excited to see all the different pyramids. They have the rainforest and they have an aquarium and then going to go on their giant paddle wheeler boat. That rainforest pyramid is just one of my absolute favorites. All the different colorful birds just walking around right in front of you, the animals, the colorful plants. And then, now we're getting to go on the paddle wheeler boat and I think it's gonna be an amazing little trip. All right, 
a day at Moody Garden has been amazing. Oh I, my gosh, incredible. <laughs> yep, I think Jessica betrayed our favorite animals by finding another. Okay, but the penguins there were so cute and I just love they were diving in the water, chilling out, trying to hang out with us a little bit. <laughs> they, they were showing so off a little bit to show you that they're better than otters. No, otters are the best. <laughs> oh, but those jellyfish too. Oh those man, jellyfish the jellyfish are captivating. so cool. And the other part where Jessica, we just came from a trip where we saw thousands of sharks but she still hasn't gotten enough of them and i'm just like oh my gosh you're crazy <laughs> they were fun the way they just like come over as you're walking through the dorm i really like oh, that yeah. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a while. The reason why is Texas is hot and it's in the middle of the summer. So I've been hiding behind the scenes. We just finished lunch at a gypsy joint and enjoying dessert right on the patio. This thing, the cinnamon roll is humongous. It's the size of my head, probably like two times the size of Jessica's head. But yeah, let me take in a bite and see how it is. Mm. Now many people might be surprised to learn that Texas actually has several castles. And the thing about Galveston is there are just so many beautiful historic buildings that sometimes you might feel like you're in Europe. Right now we're in Bishop's Palace, so I'm gonna show you around, also known as Gresham's Castle. And walking through, you can kind of feel like your own princess right here in Texas. So many different beautiful rooms and things to check out while wandering around the rooms. As local tradition dictates it, you have to put your sticker right on one of these animals. And I'm not sure what animals these are, but we're going to put it on the nose. So here we have over 140 years over the development of beachwear. Ishmael says he would very much like to bring back that romper. And looking at how much just everything has changed, which is really interesting. We are here at Seawolf Park where they have two World War II marine vessels and we are on the USS Kavala or Kavaya and you can actually go down into the submarine so we're going to go see what it's like down there. Next up is the USS Stewart. This is an anti-submarine uh, warship, and uh, it was designed to stop Hitler's submarine blockade. So we're gonna take you through the tour and see what some of the cool spots that we find. This ship is so cool. You see so many things that you only see in movies. Stop for a sweet treat on a hot day at LA King's Confectionery, an old school candy shop that serves up some traditional treats. Mm. 
So a fun thing about the Strand is that you can actually drink and shop. So there's different little areas along where you can grab little margaritas. I've got a key lime pina colada and I'm just gonna walk around and explore while my drink. After a short little nap to refresh, we headed back out to explore. We started off at Here Stand the Strand to grab a couple of cocktails and snacks while enjoying the upscale ambiance. Okay, so this is a beautiful Magnolia Suite. One thing is I already love this exposed brick and it goes all the way up. We have high ceilings and we got this beautiful bedroom. But that will show you later. You can see where they host Mardi Gras and just keeps going. Got the bathroom. Got our tub. It's beautiful vanity. We'll all be getting ready every morning and that's our tour. Well, that's it for this episode of the Texas Travel Series. Until next time, make sure to like and subscribe at My Kelly Adventures for, for more, more Texas adventures.